Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Menti, and this is episode uh, 23 of the Black Sun Syndicate Squadron Shootout. Sorry about the uh, little bit of a hiatus there. I decided to start taking weekends off on my posting schedule, and then uh, the new patch dropped, and that caused some issues. I had to get an old version of the game and get things going, and yeah. But, on the bright side, I have this thing, which this is uh, Wootness' tournament mod for... Uh, for from the depths and what this does is it lets you set up a tournament really a tournament match really easily like you just select the the, uh, the blueprints from the list you add them in here it says king and challenger because he originally designed it for uh, Jimmer's king of the hill tournament but he adapted it so that I could use it as well so you can set the spawn distance and I set it to 1450 here because the max distance is 1500 now what this will do is if in, if a craft is more than 1500 meters away and moving away fr from its opponents it will add penalty time to it if that penalty time reaches this number that I have set here it will delete that ship instantly I don't have to watch vehicles to make sure they're in range anymore that's what this mod does for us well one of the many things this mod does for us uh, it does it for altitude and uh, you know for depth and altitude, so, you know, negative 75, 300, and I set it to 1450, so that way, you know, immediately upon spawning, somebody won't start to get a few seconds of, uh, penalty time. You know, the materials, damage to materials, um, one thing that it does do that, uh, is unfortunate is it, it disables the AI and, uh, 80% in sinking and, uh, uh, the, the basic standard despawns. Uh, so what it does instead is it starts adding penalty time when you get below 55% or uh, when you have no AI. Uh, that's an unfortunate side effect here because it does change up how the game plays a little bit. But uh, given everything else that it does, it's it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> and yeah, you can set the, the, the facing, whether it's a sub or air over here as well. And then it's literally just push this button <laughs> it makes that explosion sound it takes a moment and then here we are the battle was all set up with uh, the battle barge Incorporated guys over here, and the Argonauts by Nobodex over here, and uh, Battle Barge is by Varian 101. And another awesome thing is you can see on the left there, uh, I had to increase the field of view a bit because it was taking up a lot of the screen, but uh, on the left there you can see each individual ship, their HP percentages, and that and where it says 0M0S, zero zero that's 0 minute 0 seconds, that's the penalty timer. You can keep track of that just by watching, plus it keeps more or less keeps track of the total hit points of the entries. Uh, so you can see Challenger 99.3%. For some reason, the 0.7% is missing. Uh, and the King is 99.7%. It's missing 0.3%. Not entirely sure why that is. But it makes it so that I don't have to... I don't necessarily have to do math unless it's a really, really close match. It'll make things just so much easier and so much smoother for everybody, including myself. So this is Wootness' tournament mod. You can find it on the workshop. It's awesome. Uh, thank you very much for making this thing. Because uh, this is this brings tournament hosting to a whole new level. <laughs> oh, it also keeps track of the match time in the upper left-hand corner, and that's in game time. So I don't even have to sit here and guess about pausing the clock and unpausing it and whatnot. It keeps track of that. It's all here for us. All I have to do is focus on watching the action which I think is awesome. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get round one of this battle underway. Maybe. There we go. No, that's not it. Come on. It's not unpausing. Why is it not unpausing? There it goes. I was pushing, I pushed F11 every single time. I don't know why it didn't uh, unpause sometimes and then it suddenly did. 
As you can see, it is keeping track of match time in, in game time, not real time, because it's been more than four seconds. <laughs> Got missile strike going out, all of those shells flying out. Uh, and this is in the uh, the previous, the, the pre-Steam Engine version of the game. Oops, I hit the Windows key and minimized the game. My bad. Um, which is a shame because the performance upgrades in the new version is really, really nice, but uh, it also kind of broke engines somewhat, and uh, that causes issues on a, of its own. And it, it even says in there, like it says, the Argonauts by Nobodix has no AI. That's the spawn stick. So it even it tells us, it gives us all that information that I'd have to bring up that stupid uh, AI menu to look at. It's right there on the screen. All I have to do is sit here and watch and comment. Which I think will make the videos better for everybody. When the videos actually move. Like, it's, it's so laggy and slow right now. It's, uh kind of hard to say or do anything. Oh yeah, the Argonauts have a pretty good uh, missile defense. I wanted to see how well they do at defending against the, uh, the missile strike of the battle barges. So far they seem to be doing just fine. The Heracles is taking 0.2%, but everything else no damage except on the spawn stick. Whereas the uh, the battle barge gunboat has lost 20% of its health already. Yeah, those missiles are not making it. Looks like they are getting, like, the, the frags are getting to spray at the, uh, at the hulls, but they're not going to, from that far away with the cones spreading out, they're not going to do a whole lot. You would think that the, uh, the, uh, Mobile HQ's main gun would be doing some serious damage, though. That thing, huge cannon with a very high rate of fire. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick. Yeah, this is almost unbearably laggy. We've only done 18 seconds of game time through this entire video so far. Oh, that's why. The, that gun has been uh, blown off, so that's why it's not doing anything. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to... Uh, See, I actually have degraded mode turned off to make things go faster, but for this battle, I think we need it. Because it is going way too, way too slow. Turning on degraded mode uh, seems to have sped things up a bit, but it's still showing some tracers, I don't know. It's hard to comment on anything when I can't really see what's going on because of the uh, terrible FPS. But as it stands right now, the Argonauts are winning decisively. The battle barge is down to 82%, while the Argonauts are at 97.
And I know that includes the spawn stick and whatnot, but when it... And if they're close matches, I'll go ahead and do the, uh, the manual math, but... Ow. I apparently got hit. <laughs> but, you know, when there's a big disparity like that, an 18% difference like that, I don't need to do the math. Sorry about that, folks. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. In the new version, this is one of this. I actually tested this battle in the new version just to see what the performance would be like, and it is much better in the new version. But uh, that new version broke the engine, so I can't really use it. Oh, well, it didn't break them. It just changed how they worked, and that would break the entries. Yeah, I think at this point, since I don't really, I can't really comment on this anyway. I can't really do any commentary with it running like this. I think at this point I'm going to go ahead and just uh, speed up the battle. Okay, one thing I do want to comment on, and it's about to happen, is uh, when things are destroyed because of uh, the penalty timer, as you can see right there, it actually plays a tactical nuke graphic. <clears throat> now, it's not actually detonating a tactical nuke. Like, it's not doing any actual damage. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not doing any actual damage. It's just playing the graphic just to show, hey, this thing has been destroyed. If I look over here, you can you can see it. Uh, you should be able to see. I, it looks like the graphic got kind of messed up. But those are the spawn sticks going up. Anyway, back to speeding things up. Okay, folks, that puts all of uh, <clears throat> the battle barges below 55%. Um, their their uh, penalty time is going to tick out, but we're not going to wait the whole minute to wait for them to actually be despawned here. Because it is quite clear that the uh, the Argonauts have won this. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and just uh, call this a victory for the Argonauts right here, right now. And uh, get round two started. And then it's as simple as hitting restart, hitting restart designer and then hit start again because all the settings are still there. Bam. The tournament is set. The entries are in. 
I'll get the camera and uh, again I'm probably gonna run it in a, a sped up version which means there won't be any commentary unfortunately but with uh, how things are going I can't really do any commentary anyway so yeah all right here we go round two underway
Okay, folks, I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically call it here because it's in the Battle Barge Mobile HQ is at 56%. Everything else is below 55%. This is uh, clearly uh, a victory for the Argonauts once more here in round two. And the, uh, the gunboat just detonated. <laughs> but uh, I am seeing a few little issues with the, using this mod here. Like, for example, the, uh, the Argonauts by Nobodix has no AI. It's been stuck at 56 seconds for, well, a minute now, basically. Uh, the Hylas apparently went out of range, or is, is out of range at the moment. Its time is going up, but uh, also because things don't despawn like they normally do, the, uh, the Battle Barge gunboat was taking some damage and some hits that it that could have been directed at uh, at uh, other vessels had it been despawned as it was normally was. Uh, I'm going to talk to Lutinus and see if there's anything we can do about that. Maybe turn back on the uh, AI and uh, uh, two damaged automatic despawn things, or perhaps if they can get a separate timer so I can set that lower so we don't have to wait a full minute for those to be blown up. But uh, we'll see what happens. I definitely like this mod. It makes things a lot easier just overall. And I think will greatly improve the ability, uh, just the quality of tournament, uh, tournament videos in general. But yeah, anyway, congratulations, Nobodex. You're moving on to the next round of the primary bracket. Uh, my condolences, Varian. You're going down to the secondaries. Uh, Sorry for a little bit of a lackluster return video after that short uh, short hiatus there, but uh, it is what it is. I do what I can. Oh, and the Hylus just detonated. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the battlefield.